If you have understood what is the concept of structures, this topic will be free for all of you. Again, when it comes to the concept of unions, union will also help me to create the user defined data type. Using the dot operator, I will be able to access each and every data member that I have inside the union is what you need to remember. Let's understand the major difference that I have with respect to the structure and union quickly. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the very interesting topic that's going to be unions. Guys, what exactly that I have in the unions? Yes, if you have understood what is the concept of structures, this topic will be free for all of you. Why sir, it is like that because whatever the concepts that you have studied in the structure, almost all the concepts are very similar to the unions. So that's what you need to remember here. So guys, without wasting much of your time, so let me get into the session. What is that I'm going to discuss in the session with all of you. So guys, I will be discussing what exactly union is all about and the definition and declaration of union. So that's going to be very important and also it is very simple also. And the next topic that I will be discussing is how do I access how do I access the union members is what I will show you and the last concept that I am going to discuss with all of you is all about the comparison between the unions and the structures. So guys this is going to be the session for all of you today. So hope you will be learning and enjoying the concept of unions. Let's start what exactly that I have with respect to the unions. Guys if I say the word union you just have to remember or you just have to recollect the concepts that is structures which we studied before this topic. What exactly that I have with respect to the structures? Let's have a quick recap with respect to that. Guys, whenever I say structures, it helps me to create the user defined data type. So yes, obviously I will be creating my own data type with the help of structures. And how do we create? So with the help of the keyword struct, right? In the same way, guys, structure is a collection of different data types. That is what you need to remember at this point of time. Yes, again, when it comes to the concept of unions, union will also help me to create the user defined data type, point number one, and user is also a collection of different data types. So then what is the major difference that I have with respect to the unions as well as the structures? When it comes to the structure and union, the major difference that you will find is the memory which I will be speaking at the end of the session. So I will be comparing the structures as well as the unions. So please remember that. Okay. But as of now, you just remember this union is also helps me to create the user defined data type. Along with that user is a collection of different data types. So that's what you need to remember with respect to the introduction of unions. Right. So then what are the next thing that I have to know? How do I write? How do I define and declare the union? The same way what you guys were doing with respect to the structure, same thing, you just have to replace with a keyword that is union. So you guys were using the keyword that is struct. So instead of that, so please use the keyword union. That's simple, right? So if you know the concept of structure, this is what you need to know. Suppose, sir, I don't know the concept of structure. So could you please explain this for you guys? Guys, I have the keyword union, which will help me to create uh, the user defined data type. So the data type name, whatever I want, I can give it here. Then followed by, I have to open the flower brackets. Then whatever the variables that I want of different data types, I can have it here. Then I will close the flower bracket followed by for this data type. Say for example, I have int, int is a data type, right? So for this int, how do I create the variable? So a comma b comma c, this is the variables, right? In the same way for this data type, I can create the variables here. At the end, I have to give the semicolon. This is how I create the union, right? So let's take an example. So do I get to see any example with respect to this union? Yes, of course I have. So guys, please observe this. I have created the data type called data. Okay, what is the uh, data type name that I have here? Data. And what do I have inside the data? So please observe, I have created three different variables, right? So inside the data, what is that? The first one is i. i is a variable of type int. Again, I have f. 
F is a variable of type float and I have str array, string array. So that is a type of character. That's what you need to remember. And then observe here, I have created one variable. Small d is what I've used. You can also just type d1, okay? So if you are finding it like, you know, sir, the name confuses me. I assume that I have d1, okay? So whatever you want the name of the variable, you can create for this data type. This is how generally we create the union. So this is what you need to remember. Let me explain this, okay? So how do I access? Sir, you have created the variable. You have created uh, the data types, you know, uh, inside the union also. How do I access it? Suppose if I want to initialize, sir, you have created I, F in uh, str array. How do I access it, sir? How do I initialize it? So guys, I will be accessing that with the help of the operator that is going to be the dot operator. Using the dot operator, I will be able to access each and every data member that I have inside the union is what you need to remember at this point of time. So guys, I will be demonstrating this concept of defining and declaring of unions with an example, right? So I have that, let's start, okay? Guys, what is that I have here? Please observe, I'm trying to define the union here. So what is the name of the union? So you have data and I'm trying to declare three variables, int i, float f and character array, that is str of 20. That's what you need to observe here. Followed by I have a main function, so please observe, I'm trying to create uh, the variable uh, for this data. That's what you need to observe here. I'm trying to create the variable for the union, what you have created, that is data. So here is a variable. So fine, observe, what is that I'm trying to do here? Guys, I'm trying to initialize data in the sense for this, I'm creating a variable, okay? So data dot, okay? Data dot i, in the sense, I'm trying to access this. So that's what you need to observe here, and I'm initializing the value 10. So that's how, the same way I'm accessing data dot f is equal to 220, 0 0.5, okay? So like this, I'm using the dot operator to access the different data items that I have inside the union and I'm trying to initialize that variable is what you need to remember. Then followed by, I'm just copying the content what I, whatever I have here, so into this data.str. So for this, okay, I'm just copying, that's it. I'm doing, I'm not doing anything great here in this program. I'm just trying to demonstrate how do I initialize the data to the different data variables that I have inside the union, right? So then after that, I'm just trying to print and then I'm just closing the class. So this is how the concept of union is working for all of you. So guys, uh, this is what you need to understand with respect to the union. By saying this, I have the comparison with respect to the structures and unions. This is very important that you need to understand the concepts of structures as well as unions. Let's understand the major difference that I have with respect to the structure and union quickly. So guys, I have a structure. When it comes to the structure, what are the keyword that I have to use to create the structure? The first thing that you need to remember is, it is a struct. When it comes to the structure, I have to use a keyword that is struct. But when it comes to union, I have to use a keyword that is union. So that's the first difference that you have to understand. What are the next one that I have? When it comes to the size, this is the most important thing that you have to understand. Guys, what happens when it comes to the structure? For each and every variable, the separate memory location will be allocated in the structure. But when it comes to the union, it, it will not happen like that. What happens then? So, say for example, I have three variables. Which variable has got the highest memory allocation? that memory allocation will be shared with all other variables is what you need to remember. But when it comes to the structure, it is not like that. A separate memory allocation will happen for each and every variable. Say for example, I have uh, three variables. How many memory allocations will happen separately? Three memory allocations will happen. But when it comes to union, so the biggest data type which one we have got. So in that, so for that only the memory allocation will happen. So rest of the variables will share the memory from that variable is what you need to remember. So that is a second point that you need to remember. And also we have for memory, each member within the structure is assigned 
a unique storage location. That's what they are trying to speak even in the third point. So moving forward to the next one that I have value altering. So please observe. Altering the value of a member will not be affected the other value what I have in the structure. Say for example, I have 10 values. I will alter this. So this alteration will not affect the rest of the values. But when it comes to union, it is not like that. Opposite to that. So altering the value of any other member will alter the other member values. Is what you need to remember. Moving forward to the next one, accessing a member. Individually, you can access the members, but when it comes to the union, it is not possible. So that's what you need to remember. The last one that I have, initialization of member. Guys, several members of the structures can be initialized at once, but only one it is possible in the union is what you need to remember that too. First member. So this is the major difference that you should know with respect to the unions and the structures. So guys, by saying this, I have come to an end of this session. Hope the information and uh, the concepts what was there in my session was clear and it helped you. By saying this, thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.